Hey, Brandon, what made you decide to go with Lakins tonight? And could Wells follow him to the mound? Well, we're, we're spot starting Lakins tonight. Um, we're, miss, we're, we're down a starter and we're in the midst of a, midst of a long uh, run here of games in a row. So uh, Lake gave us four innings a few days ago, uh, hoping that he can give us some multiple innings. I think Alex Wells is definitely an option as a length option out of the pen. Uh, I tried to stay away from Plutko last night because it's also another length option that might have cut his outing today a little bit shorter, him having to use him. That was the last pitcher last night. Um, so, yeah, we'll just try to piece it together. This is not, not an ideal situation today, a spot starter and a tax bullpen, but we're going to do the best we can. Melanie Newman, go ahead. Uh, Brandon, one, will there be any type of a limitation for Lakins today? And two, after the first inning last night, you seem to have a discussion pointing upwards with the umpires. And we saw kind of throughout the game some players going in, especially for pop-ups, um, and looking up repeatedly at the ceiling afterwards as well. Was there anything going on with that? With the ceiling? No, I was just clarifying what the rule was. If the ball, hit the if the ball has ever hit the ceiling here. I've never seen it here. And it did last night after we talked about it. So we, I was just getting a rule clarification from Chad on um, fair or foul with the ceiling. And then what was the first part? Uh, will Lakins be under any type of pitch or inning oh. limitation? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to take him too far, but I'm, I'd like to, for him to go as far as he can go because we, uh, we need the innings. So, uh, you know, Lake's excited to do the start today. Um, we decided last night after the game, uh, kind of with he had the thought in mind that that he might. That's why he didn't pitch it in the game yesterday. And um, yeah, he went four innings last time. Was really efficient with his pitches. If he can be efficient with his pitches tonight against a really good lineup, uh, I'll run him out there as long as I can. Joe Treza, go ahead. Brandon, you, you, you've given the last three starts to Urias since since Galvis went down. Our uh, at, at shortstop, are, are Leva and, and Pat Vileka options to play there as well, or is it going to be mostly uh, Ramon here in, in the short term? Yeah, I think it's going to mostly be Ramon and Pat. I'm going to move Labor around a little bit. Leva has played short in the past. and um, But, yeah, I think Ramon and Pat will get the majority of time at short. John Mioli, go ahead. Brandon, we just talked to Trey about the home run derby, and he mentioned that he hasn't really had a chance to think about it because he's so focused on getting himself out of the little rut that he's in now. Is it just a day off to help him do that today? Yeah, it's just a rest day for him. He's, he's uh, you know, what he's done so far this year has been beyond unbelievable. Coming, missing a full year in chemotherapy this time last year and playing almost every single game up until this point. And we're now in late June. We're almost halfway through. And it's just to give him a, an extra day of rest. Follow-up question from Rock Kubako. Brandon, do you have a uh, taxi squad there? Sure do. Got Spencer Watkins, Connor Green, Isaac Matson, and Nick Shufo. John Mioli, go ahead. Brandon, there was a video last night of Hunter Harvey getting something applied to his arm or something. I guess the league talked to you guys about it. It was reported and, and kind of cleared up. Is that just kind of the world that, you know, all these rule changes and everything that's going on is going to create where there's a lot more scrutiny on pitchers and it might create situations where people think things are happening that aren't? Yeah. Yeah, I think that there were, we're under a microscope and uh, need to be aware of that there's cameras everywhere. But, I, you know, Hunter was, has used Icy Hot underneath his arm, his throwing arm in his armpit for nine years now. And it's just part of his, a lot of pitchers, part of what they, uh, what they do. And um, it's, it's it was no, it wasn't applying it to the ball or anything like that. It was just... I see hot underneath his arm. Seems like a really uncomfortable place for it. I think I see hot can be uncomfortable in a lot of places. 